gotten to day one of my Nutrisystem journey, and I have to say it was a tough one. Um, for breakfast, I just grabbed one of the nutrition bars, and then I had an Energizer shake. Um, both were tasted totally fine. That's not the problem. And then for lunch, this was probably my mistake, was having another uh, nutrition bar rather than having more of the meal style ones that they send you. And I found myself getting really hungry like an hour after lunch and this was the other problem was we weren't home at all all day which is why I picked those bars because I feel like they were easy to throw in my purse. I waited too long to have my midday snack, my craving crusher smoothie and that was my biggest mistake. I'm ready for dinner and I'm going to have a ton of vegetables to try and fill myself up. Like I know that that's the problem. Like it wasn't Nutrisystem's problem that I was feeling so hungry and I was super like bitchy and cranky by five o'clock that I just wanted to like strangle someone um, and that's when I had my craving crusher shake and I do feel a little bit better but I am still hungry so I'm totally ready for dinner and I'm glad that I picked up a bunch of vegetables. I also picked up one of these really cool, sorry for the lighting, whatever, it's vlogs, um, blender bottles and it's got one of these whisk type balls in it for my shakes. That way I don't have to use one of my drink cups like the one you see behind me here. These for my water and then use the one with the bowl for my smoothie shake things. So this is what I'm going to be eating for day two. We have a banana nut muffin for breakfast and then for my mid-morning snack an energizing shake for lunch we're having a spicy kung pao noodle i'm going to be adding some carrots in with this meal as well a craving crusher crusher shake about halfway through the afternoon and then for dinner i'm going to be having the chicken alfredo dinner pack with some broccoli okay day three here and for breakfast i'm going to be having this cinnamon streusel muffin and a cup of coffee black. well i was gonna have it black but then i ended up putting a little bit of coconut milk in it just a little tiny little splat i mean not even a tablespoon because i just needed that little extra mist to go with my coffee and or my muffin I'm going to have my mid-morning snack is the chocolate energizing shake. Then for lunch, since I'm going to be out and about, um, I'm going to have the double chocolate caramel bar like this. And then for the mid-afternoon snack, I'm going to have my craving crusher. And then for dinner, I'm having this thin crust pizza. And I'm going to add in a ton of vegetables on top of here. I'm thinking some spinach. I'm thinking some peppers and mushrooms and onions and... All different kinds of things and I have some steamed broccoli from yesterday that I could have on the side as well and I found that I'm having difficulty in this area of the day the beginning of the day I seem pretty content and am not having any problems at all but it seems like towards the end of the day even after having these two meals I've been getting that like pit in my stomach like hunger so I'm hoping that today it might switch it up a little bit. That's why I didn't want to have like two bars, like a breakfast bar and a lunch bar. So I'm going to have one at each time. So hopefully that makes sense. And yeah, so this is what I'm having today. So today is the 4th of July and I'm trying to schedule out my meals so that I'm not going to want to splurge on barbecue and everything like that tonight so i'm actually going to eat my dinner now and it is about two o'clock i did not eat my lunch yet like we woke up late and i just i'm trying to push my meals back as far as possible because i know we're going to be out late tonight and i know that i'm going to get hungry so what i'm doing for lunch is having my chicken pot pie and I'm not actually a fan of chicken pot pie, like to begin with, so I'm gonna load it up with some broccoli here and um, maybe put a couple more pieces in there. Meanwhile, the kids are having a little afternoon snack of pizza. So can I just point out that there is some serious willpower going on right now for me to eat something that I don't particularly like to begin with, pot pie. Adding broccoli to it, which is just like uber healthiness right now. I'm going to have my loaded baked potato, uh, which was supposed to be my lunch, and I still have my energizing shake 
as well as my craving crusher because I'm planning that my energizing shake has like some like coffee caffeine properties to it probably have this in a little while that way it's not super late with the caffeine um, but that it'll be lasting me enough through the night oh by the way <laughs> this is the crust to the pot pie and it <laughs> it doesn't really cover the whole thing I thought it it might but it has to go back in the microwave for a couple couple seconds anyways so Hey guys, so I'm just going to be chopping up a little bit of cucumber here to go with my lunch. This is Saturday, so it's been almost a week on the Fast Five Nutrisystem program. And we went to my son's baseball game this morning and then we just ended up going out on errands. And luckily, I was smart enough to remember my shake to come with me in the morning, so I energizing or whatever. And I had that when we were walking around the mall. But as we were driving home, I just started feeling super lightheaded and kind of like, like if I laid down, I would totally go to sleep. And I knew I needed to eat something. By that point, it was like 1.30. So I had gone quite a long time without eating food food other than just the shake. So I did it to myself. I should have brought my little lunch with me. So I have that um, sitting here today. We are having the three cheese and chicken pasta it's just kind of sitting in there it's much waterier than i thought it would be cucumber. yeah What's cucumber? this is cucumber it's a vegetable how do you find those at the store we were just at the store i just bought this what's at the store so um i'm relieved that we are almost at the end of the week i it's been a rough week it's gotten easier but it's still been a rough week. Like the first two days was really hard. I was always hungry and I just felt generally uncomfortable and it's totally an adjustment period for sure. Like, and now I found myself like getting hungry in the evening. That's kind of like the one time during the day that I get super, super hungry um, this past week I found. And I find myself just sitting on the couch like gnawing on like these carrot chips um, and they're not chips they're like they call them carrot chips but they just look like this and they're kind of they're fresh so they're not like fried or anything like that and these are so so good and I feel like I just sat there like numbingly you know unconsciously eating them and that helped out a lot and eating like less than a thousand calories a day. Like I think there was only one day that I went over. See, I just put that in my mouth because I'm hungry and I don't even know it. Like it's freaking cucumber. I never would sit here and gnaw on cucumber. Like I've never done this before. I've never just sat here. Sorry. And ate like raw food, like raw vegetables before. And also, I haven't had any fruit because that's not because you um you don't have any fruit the first week. I think I can start incorporating things like having a yogurt with my breakfast, and um, I'm really looking forward to that because I feel like that would help me feel a little more full and make this program feel a little more doable. I mean, this is totally doable, but I don't know that I could do this week's diet, the Fast Five diet, for like more than a week. I probably would just want to like eat everything in sight. So yesterday was Fourth of July. And I was super proud of myself, okay? I, would, I have to say, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like hid myself in the beginning when I was like eating my carrots because I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't want people asking like, why aren't you eating anything? Why are you just eating carrots? And that's so stupid because here I am on the internet like telling me all about it, but I just felt weird. Like I didn't want people to think like that I was showboating that I'm on some diet or something like that. It's just not who I am. So that was a little awkward. But then like one of the girls came out and was like, um, get your butt in here. And then, you know, everything was totally fine for the rest of the evening. I, so yeah, that was my 4th of July. I did really good. They had tons of desserts and it looks so, so good. And I, I was so good. I didn't even have a soda. Like I haven't had soda all week, which is... You can have like a diet soda during the program, and I told you guys that I love my Pepsi Max, which is a diet so considered a diet soda. It's really good, and I haven't had one because I wanted to just see if I stuck with this like 110. percent um, I'm so hungry. I'm sorry. Um, what my results would be? So I don't know. I didn't want to cheat on myself. At least not the first week. Maybe the second week I'll have like a soda or something like that. Uh, I'm hungry. 
feel like the mindset that I've gone into this and kind of kept up going with it throughout the week is that it's just food. Like a cupcake is just like food. Like I, I don't, yeah, I need food to live, but I don't need this cupcake to live. Like it's not doing anything for my body. It's not getting my energy going. It's not rubbing up my metabolism. It's not doing anything for me. It tastes dang good. Like, uh, the moment I probably end this program in three months, I will probably go out and have a big butt dinner at Famous Dave's, you know? But after that, I wanna bring it back, I wanna rein it back in and go back to my portion sizes that I learned about and hopefully it brainwashed into with doing this Nutrisystem journey. And uh, that's what I'm hoping to walk away from this whole thing. Because most of the food that I've been eating all week, like the dinner entrees and the lunch entrees and the stuff that Nutrisystem provides, uh, you know, aside from the whole vegetable thing, stuff that I would normally eat within like a normal rate, like the chicken alfredo. I would normally eat chicken alfredo, but it's not eating a bowl this big chicken alfredo. It's about having this chicken alfredo and having some salad with it. Yeah, I'm doing Nutrisystem. And the first week kind of sucks, I'll be honest with you. You have to have some serious, serious willpower. Like, I totally, totally recommend that you do this with a friend or you find someone online that you're doing this with because you, you need somebody to complain to. Like, there's going to be those moments where you're like, oh my gosh, like, I feel like my stomach is, like, curdling in on my body and, like, eating myself. And, I mean, partly those moments were my fault totally I didn't eat enough vegetables or I didn't eat my meals at the right time but it's getting past those moments a couple weeks ago I would have overeat I would have eaten like three meals at once because I just felt so so hungry also I am totally totally a believer of the slower you eat the faster you or like the better you feel full like I broke up one of my muffins in the morning into like tiny little actually probably not tiny but like little pieces like this size and I would sit there and just have like one piece and then I would take a sip of coffee I would sit and relax for a second take another piece have a sip of coffee sit for a second and the next thing you know it was like 45 minutes later or something like that and I was just getting towards the end of my muffin almost to the end of my coffee and I'm like I feel pretty dang full after having just one tiny little muffin and that ain't bad you know so it really is about tricking your body or not even tricking your body it's about listening to your body like truly and knowing when you're full for real and not just full because you just ate and ate and ate and ate and, ate and now you're overstuffed good morning everyone it is monday july 7th i probably should have showed you my phone on the very first day but you're just gonna have to trust me on that one and i'll show it to you moving forward so it is the end of the first week of my Nutrisystem journey and the first week is called the Fast Five. It is the strictest week during the three month program that I'm going to be doing. Um, I do feel pretty swollen today, like my eyes are all puffy. I went and put some makeup on because I look pretty scary <clears throat> this morning. So, and I'm sorry if I sound weird. I'm like really congested too. Also my tongue, let me show you guys, it's kind of weird. Like, uh huh. Uh huh. I can see the indents of my teeth. It might not be like super prominent to you guys, but I know when my tongue is swollen, and today is one of those days. It is one of those things. Um, I do have a thyroid nodule. Actually, I have several, but one of the ones is the biggest one. Let me see if I can show you. Right there. And um, so sometimes it causes my thyroid levels to plummet really low and on those days or periods, you know, with it being like a month or a week or anything like that, my tongue gets swollen and it is hard for me to lose weight. So that being said, I am super nervous to get on the scale this morning. Like I'm petrified that I stayed with the program like to a T and I feel very puffy and I don't know that I've lost anything so I'm really I'm really nervous that I went through all this hard work for nothing to be honest with you so maybe my attitude will change once we once we see the number on the scale but yeah I guess that's about it um, I don't know I'm definitely nervous to get on the scale so um, and don't let my tongue thing scare you like there, I go through periods where I feel totally fine, like 
last May, my numbers were really low, but then in January, they were totally fine, and I'm not on medicine or anything like that anymore. I used to be um, on some thyroxine, but I don't take anything like that anymore. So let's go ahead and jump on the scale, shall we? I am wearing the same outfit that, don't mind the laundry, it's laundry day. Um, I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore last week to give a good gauge of everything. Today is July 7th and this is the end of my first week on Nutrisystem. Let's go ahead and pump up the scale and step on. 170.4. Awesome, 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 awesome. Look so it looks like I lost 4.6 pounds and it is basically right there on the marker for the five pounds that Nutrisystem promised me. I don't feel like I feel any different to be honest with you, which is why I was so nervous to get on the scale to begin with. I also just wanted to point out that I do, ha or I did have my camera on a tripod this time because when I did my weigh-in last week on Sunday night, it was 178 and I was holding the camera, but it was also at night and I heard that, you know, that was kind of silly of me. I should have done it in the morning. That's the most true to your body weight during the morning because you're all cleansed out and everything. So I weighed myself Monday morning without the camera and it was 175 and I just feel like that's the true weight that we were going to start with here. I don't know. I'm indifferent about it. I'm happy about it. I'm happy that I lost basically five pounds in just a week. Um, I'm not sure if it's weight that would stay off if I was to not continue with the program. But it is definitely a nice place to kick off the rest of the program with. I'm excited to keep going. It's going to be hard because part of me wanted it to be like a 10 pounder in the first week because it was so, so hard. Like, let me tell you straight up, honesty right here, you have to have some serious willpower to get through the first week of Nutrisystem because especially if you're a mom and you're cooking food for the rest of your family or if you have a life and you go out, like last week I went to a concert where people were drinking, having a blast, eating fried dough and burgers and all this other stuff and I was sitting there with my little bag of carrots, you know, um, and then there's 4th of July, there was tons of barbecue, tons of pasta salads, which I absolutely love, and then the desserts, like there was like a ton of little cupcakes and cookies and things like that, and I didn't have any of them. I stuck to my plan, I said, you know what, I'm gonna stick through it, I'm gonna do this, it's just food, I can do this, and I'm nourishing my body with like healthy stuff, I ate tons of vegetables and things like that. Um, uh, but a part of me is still a little bit disappointed that it isn't uh, more so of a difference. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being ridiculous. I did get some exercise in. Um, I hit my 10,000 steps. I do You Wear My Fitbit. Um, almost every day I hit 10,000 steps and I'm really proud of that. I hope you guys found this weekly update helpful, insightful, inspiring. I hope I am... Um, explaining myself well and you guys can grasp what I'm spouting out here. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. The comments that I have gotten on my videos and Instagram posts and uh, you know all over my social media have, it's really meant a lot to me because obviously I'm okay where I'm at. Like if I, this is the size that I was going to be for the rest of my life, that's okay. Would it be nice to be thinner and lighter and more energetic and everything? Of course. And that's what I'm hoping to walk away from with this program and um, a sense of portion sizes. I talked to you about that in my first video, but um, I'm getting all emotional on you guys. <laughs> uh, so it's been an emotionally tolling week. You definitely need some willpower, but you could totally do it. It's absolutely doable. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next week's update. Bye.